to Taking Stock on Bloomberg. I'm Pim Fox. Now, all week long, we've been talking about the top business stories of 2010. So joining us now to give us his take on the biggest trends in technology, we've got a tech king, Colin Gillis. He covers the industry for BGC Partners. Colin, good to have you with us on Bloomberg. Tim, where does the time go? It, it, it disappears. <laughs> I, I guess it's because of all the clucking birds I hear, you know, I don't, I don't notice the time passing. What is this deal with Angry Birds well, and a mobile a game that everybody's hot on? So people ask me all the time, what are the things that really were game changers in 2010 in technology land? I have to say, you know, any list, if you're going to start off with, right, you know, if you're going to do a top five, you got to have Angry Birds on there because Angry Birds is a game that has had 12 million paid downloads. I think about 30 million free downloads. They've made, you know, a 99 cents. It's north of, of 12 million in paid revenue. They're grossing about a million in ad revenue per month. And the key thing here is that it's shown that you can be a developer for the mobile industry and make some big money. This is significant money that this game maker has made. So it's going to encourage and further extend the smartphone revolution. And are so that's any, why Angry Birds is number five on my list. Are you any good at playing Angry Birds? Well, you know, I will tell you that my two-year-old Chatham is better at Angry Birds than I am, but I think that's probably just uh, wow. you know, Starting a hand-eye hand coordination issue. Yeah, that's right. All right. So that's number one, Angry Birds. Tell me about the iPhone 4. Well, so number four, of course, is the iPhone 4. And, uh, you know, it, it had a little trouble coming out of the gate. Remember the antenna gate? And there was all that talk about, you know, hey, would there have to be a recall for uh, for that? But, you know, nonetheless, we sold 14.1 million units in the quarter, 91 percent, you know, unit growth on, on a year over year basis. You know, it really it, uh, it catapulted, you know, Apple into the, the, the next you know, level of, of elite phone makers. So, you know, iPhone 4 was a, a smash hit for the farm. All right. We got the Angry Birds. We got the iPhone 4 coming at three. And, number three, Android. What, how, how many people are signing up? You know, every day this was Android? The year. Android was a breakout year for 2010. Right. I mean, you, you went from having about 60,000 active activations a day to having 300,000 activations a day, plus right all the releases that they've done. And one of the nice things about Android is they've got all these cute names. They're named after desserts. right? So you've got Cupcake, you have Donut, you have Eclair, you have Frozen Yogurt, you've got the Gingerbread release that they just put out, and we're all waiting for the Honeycomb that comes that's going to be powering all the tablets in 2011. So, you know, Android is shown that it's a major platform and that it's doing a decent job of monetizing applications via advertising. All right, so you've got the platform, you've got Android. Now you've got to also look, I mean, Apple's claiming two spots here in the top five tech stories, the iPad, yes, right? That's right. And, you know, the, 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 I mean, the iPad is changing the way we compute. I mean, uh, you know, this is a, a, a Do you guys device. use it in meetings? I mean, do you see people in meetings actually taking out their iPad and using them? Yeah, more and more. Absolutely. More and more and more and more. You know, at first it was just the hipsters, right, you know, walking around, look at my iPad, you know. Right. But now people are, you know, are really take, taking notes into it. And, uh, you know, I even see people carrying little wireless keyboards. And, you know, it's, it's the, the amount of um, development that's being done for it and, and the penetration into the enterprise, right? You know, I mean, we're seeing what it's doing on the, to, the, to the netbook marketplace, right? You know, and it really seems to be denting into consumer sales as well. And, in fact, you know, I, I don't cover Best Buy, but you look at the Best Buy results, right? You know, you can start to say, geez, I wonder if it's even denting into television. Television sales, right? Because television sales were so weak. So th there's a lot of iPad. Uh, you know, th this has been a great year for iPad. And a lot of people will, will probably say to me, "Geez, iPad number two. You know, here we are. You know, revolutionizing the way computing is." But you know, if the numbers are right, that. 2011, uh, you know, I think I'll be back here and I'll be saying to you that the iPad 2 will be number one on the list. So as much as the iPad's been good, it's going to be that much more influential in 2011 when the second generation comes out. So right now I'm saying number two is going to become number one on my list in 2011 when the iPad 2 hits. All right. And is that also a, a play on mobility? Because you've got ads, you've got products that are specifically tailored now to the iPad. Different kinds of media are producing specific things like newspapers papers for the iPad. That's right. You know, and just to tie it in for all the investors watching the program, right, Apple remains my top growth pick, you know, it, because not only are uh, some of its peers running into more difficult compares because we're anniversarying the, the recovery of the recession, but, the, you know, because of the iPad being a brand new revenue stream, you know, that this is all incremental revenue flowing on that's going to continue on for the next several quarters. You know, we're modeling north of $3 billion in new revenue coming into Apple in the December quarter just from the iPad. All right. Now, the number one story in your mind, technology story. It starts with a K. It starts with a K. And it goes and, with an I. And it only really came about in the last quarter of this year. We're talking about the Microsoft Connect, Connect 
for Xbox 360. That's right, right, right. A, little, little, little bit of a little bit of a, of a leader in there. People thought we were going to say Kindle. How did this happen? <laughs> Microsoft Connect has been the fastest selling consumer device uh, in history, right? And actually, what's interesting is that iPad was, right, earlier in the year, and Microsoft claimed this title just uh, a month ago. Why is this such a hit? Why is the Connect such a big deal? Well, it's revolutionizing the way people play games, right? Because there's, there's no controller. It's a motion. Uh, it's, it's a motion. You, play, you are the game. You're you are the, the game, game right? absolutely. Your, phys your right? physical you know? movement. So Controller-free gaming. I mean, you've got uh, RGB cameras, depth sensors, multi-array microphones, all reading what's happening in your living room, and you are the game. You are the controller. And it's a change the generational outlook for, for video games because now you've got older people who want to play as well? Sure, of course. You know, and you can play with your kids now, right? You know, you can you jump up and down. You know, it's it's changing the way people exercise. You can work out with it. It's a personal trainer because you know it's, it's constantly analyzing your body so it can see what happens there. And then what, what's really neat is that the way people are, are taking it and modifying it and extending it. So this is going to be a platform you know, that's going to have some legs. It's going to continue to run to 2011. You can see other people you know, building applications around it. You know, Remember the movie Minority Report? You, know, was, you wave your hands and the screens were flying all around. So you know, this is the start of that where you are the controller. You are the controller. And so how are you at Microsoft Connect? You know, and I've got to buy a Microsoft too. You know, this is what we call. Uh, this is the company we point out more for value people, and also for if you're looking for a dividend name and technology. And the nice thing about Connect is for Microsoft, this is a good win for their mojo, right? You know, I mean, like yes, you know, like it, it helps from a revenue angle. You know, the 22.5 uh, million units in 25 days, fastest growing device ever. But you know, it's important for the firm to have a significant win and show, look, like we are doing well in the consumer space. All right. Well, I like the idea exercising with the Connect. I want to thank you very much, uh, Colin Gillis, coming to us from BGC Partners sharing your top five technology stories of 2010.